Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, earlier today, it was revealed that there, the potential plot details for Superman Legacy are out right now. And this could potentially be true, but it's not confirmed if these are true or not, because these are potential plot details, like I stated just a few sec just seconds ago. So, please take this with a grain of salt, because... I don't even know if this is true or not. I read a little bit about this already, and this definitely does sound interesting. And I would be willing to give this a shot should this actually be true and actually be in the Superman Legacy film. Uh, so, yeah, without wasting more time, let's get into this. But again, please take this with a grain of salt. I say this a lot with a lot of my videos that involve scoopers or something like, oh, this potentially could be true. Anything involving potentially or is coming from a scooper, please take this with a grain of salt. Because again, not everything that comes from a scooper or that is rumored to happen, that's potentially going to happen, isn't always going to be true. And it just isn't always going to happen or it will happen, but in a way or certain things will be revealed that you won't really expect. So yeah, just so take this with a grain of salt, please. Please take this, take, take, take this with a grain of salt. Sorry, I'm stuttering been a long day for me um but uh but yeah without wasting more time uh let's get in this, this this whole post here on twitter or x now which I, I refuse to call it x i'm just gonna still gonna call this twitter so let's just get in this whole uh post here and see what exactly it says here so it says here um from, from this post on twitter from uh the seventh viewer anon um so there are three little there are three things that he says here in like, three separate tweets in in this one post. One of the, well, the main one being this one. Uh, so heard some stuff about Superman Legacy. I trust the source, but this stuff is always fuzzy. Like as it, as with a lot of other sites and scoopers, especially if it if it says potential, if it's not from a scooper and from a site. If it's from not if it's not from a scooper but from a website, I say oh this potentially could happen. Then that technically does mean that yes, this you got to take this with a grain of salt as well. Even if it's from a website and they say it's potential, if they don't say it's potential, oh, this will happen. Still take it with a grain of salt if that if this if that's the only website talking about this. Um, and so let's continue on here. Superman's early in his career and isn't widely known. His big public reveal happens in the Middle East, where terrorists have gotten a hold of Kryptonian tech. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the other two here. Uh, Waller and Sam Lane send in the authority to investigate. They believe Superman is responsible. So the authority are possibly going to be in this film or have a very minor role. And this isn't that big of a shock, to be honest. I mean, okay, the authority being in this film, that would definitely be like, oh, wow. Okay. So the, the, they're going to be introduced in this film. Um, it's kind of shocking, but at the same time, not because like I said it in my last DC video, um, where we find out who one of the villains is going to be, that being one of the authority members being the engineer, it kind of makes sense for the authority to be involved in this for the rest of the authority to be involved anyway. Um, because if one of them's going to be a ma a big villain in this movie, then the rest of the authority are going to be in it in some way, shape or form, but not have a big role. Now I know James Gunn did. Uh, respond to a uh, to a post on threads that the authority he ne he never said the authority will not be present in the film so they will have a small presence like maybe we'll get like a like a one scene with them and then that's it I I don't know what's gonna happen there are like there's gonna be a lot of people showing up in this film but just not have big roles like with Mr. Terrific Hawk Girl and Guy Gardner like we know they're gonna be popping up in the film they're just not going to have big roles. They're just going to have like little small like cameo scenes, at least anyway. Um, but hopefully they are, and they most likely will. Because if not, then that that, that would be weird. Um, so they and they think Superman is responsible. Okay, that's interesting. So Superman's going to be framed as kind of being a bad guy in this film. He's gonna he's gonna have to prove his, prove his innocence. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Superman learned of the tech in the Fortress of Solitude and hopes it will be the missing puzzle piece to discover where he comes from. So he doesn't know where he... So if this is true, 
and we see this in the film, he's not going to know about Krypton nor anything yet. Okay. Okay. So, J okay. This isn't going to be an origin film. We know this about you. We know this from what James Gunn said. This is not going to be an origin film. Uh, this is tech this is pretty much going to be a character study film, kind of like how Matt Reeves' The Batman was last year. So, <sighs> so it's not going to be a character study. It's not going to be an origin story like oh how he came to Earth. He's going to discover how he came to Earth. So okay, okay. Uh, missing puzzle piece discover where he comes from so i just want to i just want to emphasize on that and uh, hopes will be the missing pete puzzle piece so he doesn't know on he doesn't know where he comes from yet he doesn't know where he comes from yet and the fortress of solitude is already established we know crypto is going to be in this film as, as was it was confirmed by james gunn um a while back uh, so we know crypto is going to be in this uh, Fortress of Solitude is potentially going to be in this uh, after reading this. Hopefully, anyway, who knows? Again, take it again. Take everything that's being said here with a grain of salt, because again, anything that's said from a scooper, you got to take it with a grain of salt, and you just got to wait and see if this is true or not when Superman Legacy does release, or if James Gunn is going to respond to this or not. Because James Gunn, uh, as of this recording, has not responded to this yet. So we just got to wait and hear from him if he does respond to this. If he doesn't respond to this, then this could be true. This could potentially be true. All right, moving on. Now, the third and final little paragraph here is that... Oh, let me pause this. There we go. Um, the third and final little paragraph post here that, he, that this guy puts out is, anyway, the big bad is Brainiac behind everything. And I hope... Okay, I got to say that. I just got to butt in and just say this right now. I hope Brainiac is the main, like the villain in this movie. Because if you know, because if you've been catching on with some of my some of my previous Superman Legacy videos or my video on how James Gunn should make the DCU a successful universe, you know that I want Brainiac to be the main villain. The main villain. Not one of the main villains, not just the second main villain, but the the villain throughout this film. The villain. Because Again, I've said this in my in my How James Gunn Should Make the DCU a Success video, because Brainiac's never had a big role in a DC movie as big as Superman Legacy, because Superman Legacy is going to be a big movie, because it has so much potential in it, and it has a lot of hype going into it when it comes to this, because this is going to be the film starting off the DCU, so there's a lot of, um, a lot of pressure going in on this film. There's... There's just a lot going in. So, I mean, it's just like, yeah, man, Brainiac needs to be the big bad of this film. He needs to. And I, I hope this is true. I hope this is true. Now, anyway, moving on. As said in the first post, I trust the source, but it's all a game of telephone with info passed ear to ear. So we'll know how much of this, if anything, pans out. Sounds solid to me, though, if it's true. This does sound a little interesting. I would be interested to see this happen. Should this be true? Brainiac, though, man, if if none of this is true, at, at least I hope at least Brainiac being the the main villain in this movie is true. I hope it's true. I hope it's true. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll just have to wait and see if Gunn does eventually respond to this or not, or if. If he doesn't respond to this, then hey, this could be this could potentially be true. And he does actually reveal Brainiac is the main villain of this film because we know, we already know, like I said, the engineer is gonna be one of the main villains of this film. One of the main villains. And so there's gonna be another villain, and this second villain is most likely gonna be the main villain in this movie. And again, like I said in my DC in my last DC video I made, it has to be Brainiac. Brainiac has to to be the big bad in this movie. He has to. He freaking has to. He has not had a role in a big movie as big as this ever. He's only had a role in like some in a CW show, I believe. But that's it. Never in a never in a live action movie has he had a role, especially this big. So what a way to introduce him to a live action film 
in the DC in DC, then have him be the have him be the main villain of this of Superman Legacy. Because like it makes sense for this to happen. So yeah. Um yeah, that, that's all I gotta say about this. I hope Brainiac being the main villain is true. I out of everything else, I hope Brainiac being the main villain is true. So so yeah, that's all that's all I gotta say about this. Um all as for the rest of everything else that was said here, this would be it would be interesting if that's true. But we just gotta wait and see and find out. I hope Brainiac be again, I can't stop saying this. I hope Brainiac being the main villain in this movie is actually true. I hope it actually is true. Fingers crossed it is, but if it's not, that would suck. But I'd be willing to see who who else who gun picks to be the main villain in this movie. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about this. Post comments down below though. Let me know you guys think about this though. Um, do you think this is true? Do you think this isn't true? Or you, are you just going to wait and see and find out until what Gunn says? Or do you, again, like I said, do you think this is true? And do you want Brainiac to be the main villain of Superman Legacy? Do let me know about all of that in the comments down below. Also, if you guys didn't enjoy this video, um, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of a DC or a fan of Superman specifically, then you should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also, come follow me over on Twitter, Vero, and Threads. I will be posting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, until then, though, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye.